Hey there, I want to show you how to make a simple but professional sounding Emma piano drum pattern. So if you're new, hit the subscribe button down below and let's get started. So this is an empty project and I want to set our tempo. When it comes to making Emma piano, typically you want to stick within 110 to 115 BPM. That is beats per minute. So I'm going to come to this top right here and then type in value. I'm going to use 113. All right, so since that is set, now we're going to choose sounds. Now it's important for you to get the right sounds for you to make the right drums. Now if you're to use maybe Afrobeats drum packs, you may not get the Amapiano piano feel, so I recommend you get my piano drum packs. And you can get this SE2 Ultimate Amapiano piano drum kit, which also came with a free update. So if you've gotten it before, just check your email. This free update should be available in your email. So now let's come to kick. Let's use the kick from here. And I'm going to come to listen to them. Yes, I want to kick that soft like that. Drag and drop right here. I'm going to play a simple pattern, just black, red, black, red. Yeah, I like that pattern. Now you can use a room shot or percussion. I'm going to use a hat, so I'm going to come to hats. I'll come back to this. Let's check out the hats in here. Yeah, I'll use this. Then just play a simple pattern. Reduce the volume. Then let's add a percussion layer. So I'm going to come right here to percussion. Still within the same pack. Yeah, I like this. Then just simply copy and then paste. Reduce the volume a bit. Nice. So next I'm going to come to the heart section again. I want to make a simple heart pattern, like a loop. Then just repeat it like this. Then reduce the volume to be like really low. Then I'm going to also adjust the fade. Versus. Now what I'm going to do is come in here and play with the velocity. You can even play with the pitch once to be higher pitch or lower pitch. Then now let's add a snare to come to snap. Then yeah, let's use that. Reduce the volume; it's quite loud. Then I'm going to just place a simple snare here, and then another simple snare here. I recommend you use different snares so that it sounds more interesting. Okay, so I'm going to come right here. Let's try this, then paste it here. Really, still too loud. Then if you can't find maybe a different snare that you like, although if you get the key to you have access to all of this, but if you don't find the snare you like, you can simply still click it in here and then simply change the pitch. You can take it lower or higher. But I prefer when you just use a different snare overall. It just gives it, you know, more unique feel in my opinion. Then let's add another sound. I want to have like a slight roll before this guy happens, so. Okay, let me try this and then I just want to roll off a little bit here. Nice. I'm going to reduce the volume a bit. Then I can dump it right here. And then add a shaker loop, although a shaker loop is optional, but let's... Let's add this hat loop. Change it to song mode. Reduce the volume.
then we can even go in and play with it a little bit trim this then spread it here When you want to arrange your production, you can have just this initial part on playing, maybe in the verse and in the intro. And then you can later introduce this. Or you can just bring this in. Then when you get to like the main hook or where the lock drum starts going crazy, you can then turn everything on. And that's pretty much it. And this is how you make a simple, minimal, but interesting on a piano drum pattern. If you find this helpful, like and subscribe for more tutorials, tips, and tricks. Cheers.